my dear students and parents welcome to our youtube channel middle school tne we have started this channel to felicitate the students during the lockdown period all the tutorial videos of different subjects will be uploaded in this channel so once again please subscribe comment and share and of course don't forget to click bell icon that is notification button this will keep you updated with the new videos so today i am here your very own computer teacher t palden butia this video tutorial is for class 6 and the topic for today is mail merge in word processor chapter 4 from the book so what is mail merge it is a feature in microsoft word or word processor that helps us to combine data source with the main document now the question comes where is this use and how is this useful or why do we need this so this feature is used to send letters to the same with the same information to different people that is the body of the letter will remain same but the recipients will be multiple so changing name address phone numbers every time will be long process and time consuming so mail merge feature will help you to perform this task within a short period of time mail merge consists of three main components they are data source main document and merge field so what is a data source data source is a name of a person address city phone number of a person who is receiving the letter it is a mailing list which consists of fields like title name address city phone number etc which will have its own record main document the body of the letter which will not change is the main document now we come to the last one merge field it is a data item such as name address city phone number etc which instructs word processor where to insert the data source or the information in the main document so here we go please watch the video carefully i have opened microsoft word and i have already typed a letter so here i'll show you the step to perform a mail merge first click on mailing tab after that go to start mail merge group so in this group you click start mail merge after you click start mail merge click in the last option step by step mail merge wizard on the right hand side you will find you will get a new a uh, box that is called mail merge task pane there you will find different options like select document type what type of document are you working on whether it's a letter email message envelope labels directories at the moment we are working in letters so we'll click in letters which is already clicked if it is not clicked we'll click in letters after that we'll move on to the next button starting document here you will get another box again where you have select starting documents so how do you want your want to set up your letter use the current document start from a template start from existing document so here i have already type a document so current this is the current one i have not saved it so i'll click in use the current document again i'll click in the next button select recipient now here we'll select the recipient type 
so use an existing list select from outlook contact type a new list so if you already have a list you can select use an existing list or if you want it from the outlook you can use the contacts from there or if you don't have any of the list or any of the contacts you'll click in type a new list so here in our case we don't have any contacts so we'll click type a new list after clicking and typing a new list you'll click create so here we have new address list dialog box so this is where we will type the name last first name last name company title address city etc etc so this is actually where we create a data source this is the place where we actually create the data source here these are the fields different fields which we have now we will start entering the data over here so title let's say mr first name for example any name any fake name can be given first name last name we have given so we'll be using address line 1 let's uh, let's put the name of a school over here mm. sin gvs then we'll use the field city For another entry we'll click in the button new entry these are the fake names which i am giving so any names for a practice let's say another school west point city gangtok another entry Let's say TNSS. New entry again. on Bosco for example soaring let's put one more name St. Joseph School so we have five entries over here we can if you want we can give more names 
it depends on the number of recipients so for practice for example i have entered five names now we'll click ok button the computer will prompt you to save your file let's say for example i have given the name ok name it will automatically take the extension click save so in this way we have created a data source these are the recipients these are the people who will receive our letter click ok after that write your next write your letter click over here write your letter so we already have a letter now we'll perform the we'll enter the merge field the third step entering the merge field so where do we want the names to appear the names the address the city the title now we'll work on that so take your mouse pointer at the top press enter key twice or thrice go to the right side the task pane and click more items now when we click more items we get this insert merge field dialog box now from here we will be entering the merge fields one by one so first We'll enter, we'll take back the cursor to the top, more items, first name, click insert. You can see the merge field getting inserted over here. Close it, press space bar once, keep a gap, click more items again last name insert close it press enter key move to the next line here you can see the gap is more so to reduce the gap we'll go to the home tab and click no space click no space or no spacing then press enter key now you can see there's no gap in between the lines after that click more items we have used address line one so click address line one click insert close it press enter more items again we have entered city click city click insert close now take your mouse pointer above the body of the letter just above the body of the letter click more items click title insert click close click more items Keep space over here, click more items, last name, click insert, click close. Here you can add a text, dear, salutation dear. Now after doing this, we'll click preview your letter. Next preview your letter now you can see the merge fields are changed with the name at this line one we have entered the name of school city we have entered the name of the city after that dear mr butia this is how the fields are changed with the data or the records in it now we have all together we have five names or five recipients so here complete the merge we'll click in the button complete the merge to see the entire letter complete the merge after that click in the button edit individual letter so this will help you to edit the individual letter or just to view the letter so after that you will get this box all click all click ok
So now I'm scrolling the screen down. So first name is Sonam Bhutia, St. JBS Pakyong. You can see the second letter, Shanti Rai, West Point, Gangtok. These are the names which we have entered, recipient's name which we have entered. Third one is Rajesh Guru. The last one is, uh, fourth one is Chiring Lepcha. And the last one is Ganesh, Ganesh Chitri Shin Joseph Martin. So this is how we merge the data source with the main document and this is the complete process of performing a mail merge feature in Microsoft Word. Thank you and we'll, we'll again catch up in the next video.